In this part of the program, we'll give you some suggestions that will help you thread your machine properly. By following some simple guidelines, you'll find it easy to get your machine ready to sew. The machine bobbin is threaded before the upper part of the machine is threaded. Machines vary from model to model with regard to the bobbin winding and threading process, so check your machine manual for the correct procedure on your machine. Here are a few basic rules that apply to all machines. When you place thread on the machine, use the spool cap that is appropriate in size for the thread spool being used. If your thread spool has a slit on the end, be sure that end of the spool is on the right so your thread doesn't get caught while winding the bobbin. Use only the bobbins recommended by your machine manufacturer. Do not substitute different styles of bobbin or your machine may not sew properly. Check that the bobbin winding spindle is pushed fully to the left before you place the bobbin onto it. Be sure you place the bobbin into the machine correctly according to your manual. If you put the bobbin in the wrong way, the machine will not sew properly. Though machines vary from model to model as far as their specific threading paths, there are some common things that apply to all machines concerning the threading of the upper part of the machine. Follow your machine's manual or quick start guide for the rest of the threading process for your specific model. First of all, be sure that you raise the presser foot lifter before you begin threading. This is very important because if you don't, the thread will not go into the tension properly. Step number one for threading your machine should always be raise the presser foot lifter. Turn the hand wheel to raise the needle to its highest position. When you place the thread spool on the machine, use the spool cap that is appropriate in size for the thread spool being used. If your thread spool has a slit on the end, be sure that end of the spool is on the right so your thread doesn't get caught while sewing. If you are using a cone-shaped spool of thread, it is recommended to place the thread on a thread stand behind the machine for best results. 90% of your sewing will be done with your tension control set in the normal or automatic range as indicated by the instruction manual for your model of machine. The correct appearance of your stitching is mostly determined by the balanced tension of both top and bobbin threads. For straight stitch sewing, the tension is well balanced when these two threads lock in the middle of the fabric layers you are sewing. If, when you start to sew, you find that the stitching is irregular, you will need to adjust the tension control. Do this, however, only after you have determined that the machine has been correctly threaded. If the bobbin thread is showing on the top side of the fabric, or the fabric is puckering, adjust the upper thread tension control to a looser setting. If the needle thread is showing on the bottom side of the fabric, adjust the upper thread tension control to a tighter setting. Make all tension control adjustments with the presser foot in the down position. If you notice that there is a lot of thread accumulating on the bottom side of the fabric, this is an indication that the machine has not been correctly threaded. For more information about this, go to the Maintenance and Troubleshooting section of this program. For zigzag or decorative stitching, upper thread tension should be less than that for straight stitch sewing. You will always obtain a nicer stitch and less puckering when the upper thread appears slightly on the bottom side of your fabric for these types of stitches. The bobbin tension has been correctly set at the factory, so you do not need to adjust it. When threading the machine, raise the needle to its highest position by turning the hand wheel counterclockwise. Set the needle to center needle position. 
Always thread the needle from front to back and pull about six to eight inches of thread toward the back. This will ensure that the machine doesn't come unthreaded when you start to sew because the thread tail was too short. Some machines feature a built-in needle threader to help you thread the needle quickly and effortlessly. To use an automatic needle threader, the threading lever is pressed, bringing the threading mechanism into position so that the hook comes into the eye of the needle. Thread goes around the thread guide and then up into the hook. Release the threading lever and a thread loop will pull through the needle's eye. Grab the thread loop and pull the rest of the thread tail through the needle. Some models make this process even faster because they have a threading system that will do this process for you. Check your machine manual or quick start guide for more information on your model. Automatic needle threaders work best with needles that are size 14 or larger. For size 11 or smaller needles, as well as twin needles or hem stitching needles, it is recommended to just thread the needle manually. Before you start sewing, you will need to raise the bobbin thread. To do this, hold the upper thread with your left hand. Turn the hand wheel toward you or counterclockwise which will lower and then raise the needle. As you turn the hand wheel, lightly pull the needle thread. The bobbin thread will be drawn up through the hole in the stitch plate. Slip the threads into the groove on the foot, then place both threads under the foot toward the back. On some machines, the groove is in front of the foot and on others, it is on the side. Some machines have a track in which the bobbin thread is staged when threading. If your machine has this style of bobbin threading system, it means that it won't be necessary to draw up the bobbin thread before you begin to sew. The machine will pick it up for you automatically.